Yeah, what's going on everybody? It's your boy iPod King Carter here. Today's video is about NBA 2K19, my team, but the real gems that I want to talk about today is the actual gameplay that they showed within the trailer, as well as a couple other announcements that they put out on the, the 2K wire, as they would say. So let's go ahead and hop into the trailer first. Now that you guys have seen the trailer, before we hop into the topics that I want to hop into, which are my main topics, I want you guys to go ahead and start putting stuff inside the description that you see, as such as new players, new cards, new designs, new modes. Just, you know, flood the comment section with a whole bunch of new information so that people don't miss those things because I'm not going to be talking about too much stuff diving into my team. I may mention one or two things new in my team or things that came back in my team. So, you know what I'm saying? Just bear with me here. Let's get it. All right, guys. So the first thing that I want to let you guys know is the trailer that is playing behind me. It is playing in slow motion. The reason for that is so that your eyes can capture more while you're watching. Now, the first big thing on my list is the weekly challenges, man. I always stress this to video games. If you're going to have people playing your game day in and day out, grinding your game, trying to earn virtual currency, online currency, whatever type of currency for whatever mode, you need weekly challenges. You need something. And matter of fact, even daily challenges. If you guys can stretch it to giving some people something to play every single day, you'll have people playing your game all the time around the clock and actually liking it because they're earning something from it while doing it with the cool challenges or objectives. Now, the second thing on my list is that they're bringing 3v3 back. I mean, to me, honestly, I'm not a big my team player, but for people that don't have all the best cards to create a, a great team, you can actually take the three of your best cards, go online against people, or, you know, stay offline if you're a little too scared, if you're not ready for that. But you can go online, you do have the option. Now, that's really big in my book because a lot of people don't want to play offline. A lot of people aren't into, you know, playing offline. Offline is not the type of thing nowadays. Couch play, it really doesn't exist anymore, man. For people that have friends that play video games, they always are playing online. A person be like, yo, you want to run it up? People don't say, come to my house, we're going to play. Nah, run it up, head me to a party chat, and we're going to play. That's how the game is now, man. That's how gaming has evolved. Now, I'm not going to lie to you guys. Weekly challenges out of the My Team News is the number one thing on the list, and 3v3 is, is second. I don't have a top three, but I have something that supersedes all the My Team News. Is the fact that 2K, even though it's a little bit, even though it's a sprinkle, they dropped 1080p gameplay. I'm All I'm saying is, check the footage. They showed a portion of 3v3 which had Giannis going between the legs behind the back and dunking it. And they also had Kemba Walker get into the lane with a heavily contested, smothered, late release layup, showing the timing uh, meter and showing the above, like uh, slightly late, smothered, blah, blah, blah. Now, I made a video, a little rant. If you guys didn't check out my rant, make sure you guys go check it out. I talked about this. This is something that you guys voted to be brung back for 2K19. You guys wanted the layup meter, and you guys wanted it to be shown instead of 2K putting it in there and not showing it to us. So now that it's back, how many people are happy with that? How many people are cool with 2K showing you 
that this is what they put back in the game because this is what you guys asked for. I want to see what the comments say, man. I want to see how many people think like, okay, I mean, it was cool when we was thinking about it, but now that we see it, do we? Do you really want to keep seeing it? Do you want to turn it off? What do you want to do? But for the gameplay with Giannis going between the legs behind the back, that was something that a lot of people needed to see, man. Now, I mean, I know it's not a lot. I know that, you know, it's not no 5v5 one full quarter of gameplay you know something that a lot of people want to see to see all the quirks and stuff like that it was kind of a quick cut because you know the the, the ball was like almost right past uh half court going into the uh, uh uh front court set he went between the legs behind the back and just dunked around his man so it really wasn't that much but it's something man i, I don't like seeing off camera cell phone footage of a video game i hate going off of that so it was good that they they drop a little sprinkles of gameplay because that just goes to show that within their timeline they're probably going to be ready to roll out certain things now the last thing on my list that i've seen that was a big gem is the fact that the prelude is coming out now the date will be august 31st so if you got anything going on august 31st fam anything i'm gonna need you to cancel that okay all right except for if it's school i mean if you got a regular job and you know you could probably you know what i'm saying swap that day off or something like that you might want to play the prelude you know what i'm saying honestly i was supposed to go on a, a business trip and i'm not gonna lie to you guys i canceled my entire business trip because the prelude is dropping now the crazy thing is the week before that the demo for live is dropping and then a week after that the prelude is dropping so for two weeks starting in like another week for the two weeks after that I'm gonna be booked. I'm gonna be playing demos like they're the real video game. So that's that's just coming from my standpoint. What do you guys think? Are you guys gonna be grinding the prelude? Are you guys gonna actually be creating multiple characters? I want to know honestly for how the prelude was last year where we had to find that workaround to create different characters and stuff like that and try out different builds in the prelude. I wonder if 2K said, we'll just give that option to you to create different players instead of letting you play the prelude one time, having to delete all the data, restart your system, delete stuff from the cloud and all that, all these workarounds. I don't want that. What I want is to be able to create multiple characters to see what I like um, as a base model character and see if I want to build that up but uh this is your boy IKC signing out hey so all you my team fans out there I hope you guys are happy with the news that was released today if you guys aren't I'm sorry to hear that maybe you guys might have to wait a little bit longer down the cycle um the whole blog is out right now so you guys can read up on it uh the link will probably be in the description of that as well make sure you guys like the video if you did make sure you guys subscribe if you're new to the channel and I'll see you guys in the next video I hope you guys like the gameplay the prelude uh the actual new 3v3 bringing it back and the layup i don't know if you guys like it i'm i'm not, I'm not sure i don't i don't want to you know assume too much but i hope you guys do oh shout out to brandon roy peace y'all all right guys this is the end of the video i hope you guys definitely enjoy this video make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and you can also watch one of my previous videos after hitting that subscribe button i hope you guys like this video let's get this thing to 5,000 likes and this is your boy ikc signing out peace